Want to speak real Bulgarian from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at bulgarianpod101.com. 10 phrases you always want to hear. So are you ready to start complimenting other people? Let's go! Izgleždaš strahotno dnes. Izgleždaš strahotno dnes. You look great today. Now, it's something that I would like to point your attention on. It's the word strahotno, which is literally translated as scary, by the way, because it uh, derives from the word strašno, which is scary. So, Bulgarians use it in a way of saying great, but it's funny how uh, it sounds when you think about it. You look scary today. And it sounds such a normal thing to say in Bulgarian, by the way. Uh, so use it everywhere you go. You look wonderful today. You look great today. Izgleždaš strahotno dnes. Lipsvaš mi. Lipsvaš mi. I miss you. Yes, this is something uh, either say, say too rarely or we do say excessively. I do encourage everybody to find a balance in it. And this comes from meaning it uh, from your heart. I am going to miss you until the next episode. Ste mi lipsvate. Svrši čudesna rabota. Svrši čudesna rabota. You did a great job. Yes, uh, I do believe that if somebody hears this phrase more often, they're not only going to be flattered, but they will uh, improve their work overall. Svrši čudesna rabota. Ште има bonus v kraju na meseca. Ште има bonus v kraju na meseca. There will be a bonus at the end of the month. It's definitely what everybody would like to hear if they have done a good job. Even if they have not done a good job, it will make them do a better job. Because imagine if you're doing something for many years and you don't receive any kind of appreciation for that. Not even a single small thing. So the bonus is definitely something you should use to make somebody do better work. Ti gotviš prevashodno. Ti gotviš prevashodno. You're an excellent cook. Yes, everybody would like to hear that, even though sometimes you may burn the dish, but your friends are there to support you, so they may be saying, oh, as, as if they're mocking you. Ti si prevashodno. Gotvač, ti gotviš prevashodno. You are an exceptional cook. Uh, well, the more you burn dishes, I know, the better you become as a cook. So please never stop cooking. Počini si. Aš te počistja dnes. Počini si. Aš te počistja dnes. Take a break. I'll do the cleaning today. Open the heart and the doors to every mother's heart. Guaranteed, proof, uh, read, and checked, and all that. I vie pečelite. I vie pečelite. And you win. I uh, specifically think that if you invest the money you spend on scratch tickets into something else, you are on the winning side of spending your money, for sure. Ti beše prav. Ti beše prav. You were right. Why is it so hard to admit something like that? I don't know, maybe because Bulgarian people, they think they know everything about everything. Uh, from science, to sport, to politics, to anything. Uh, so please say it, uh, even though people are not right. Nosia ti nešto specialno. Nosia ti nešto specialno. I brought you something special. It is very intriguing and exciting to hear something like that, isn't it? Uh, unless this special something is a cat. And there you can bid farewell to your living room couch. 
Бюджетът е неограничен. Бюджетът е неограничен. The budget is unlimited. Can you imagine a world where there is no money or, or there is a budget but it's unlimited? What are the things that everybody can do? Everybody can accomplish their dreams no matter how far-fetched are they. You can even uh, go to the end of the universe if there is such. Mm-hmm. So, unlimited budget, unlimited dreams. Make it happen. Want to finally start speaking in your target language? In this guide, you'll discover the top seven ways to practice speaking on your own with our lessons. Let's begin. Number one, shadowing. Shadowing is a proven learning technique where all you do is repeat what you hear in order to practice speaking. So access any audio or video lesson on the site and press the play button to start. Then as you listen or watch, just repeat the conversations or even easier, read along out loud with the dialogue section. The script is right there in front of you. With our lessons, you can master entire conversations just like that. Number two, read out loud. I just mentioned it, but reading out loud is another powerful tactic and deserves its own mention. With every lesson, you get written transcripts and translations. So as you play the lesson, read the dialogue out loud as you hear it. Why? By reading out loud, you're also practicing your speaking skills. You can do this with the lesson notes, the lesson transcript, or the dialogue tool. With the dialogue tool, you can listen to each line again and again, and repeat out loud until you master them all. Number three, speed up your reading to speed up your speaking. Being able to speak without thinking is a sign of language mastery. If you're talking to a native and can respond quickly, they'll assume that you're fairly fluent. How can you do this? When you read out loud, try increasing your speed a little bit every time. So start by reading with the dialogue tool. If you're like most learners, you'll read the first line slowly. That's because you're still getting used to the words, which is okay. Reread it. On your second try, you know most of the words and you'll read a little faster. Reread it again. On your third try, you'll be even faster at a native speaker's speed. And being able to read these phrases out loud and fast will help you speak fast. Number four, record and compare yourself with native speakers. In order to sound like a native speaker, you must imitate native speakers. So here's how. Access the voice recorder, which is in the dialogue study tool in every lesson. Click on the microphone icon, listen to the native speaker's audio, and then record yourself. You can then compare the two recordings side by side and practice and try again and again until you perfect your pronunciation. Number five, get feedback from our Premium Plus teacher. If you're learning by yourself and don't have access to real teachers, then you can always get feedback from our Premium Plus teachers. With the My Teacher tool, you can record yourself speaking and send the audio file to the teacher. They'll review it and tell you what to improve and how. That's it. Number six, level up your speaking with Premium Plus assignments. With Premium Plus, you can also get assignments that cover reading, writing, listening, and even speaking from your teacher. These assignments can be tailored to your goals and needs. You get a new one every week or anytime you're ready for a new one. Number seven, get even more lessons in the lesson library. If you want even more lessons on speaking and conversations, visit our lesson library and under category, choose conversation. You'll get all of the pathways and lessons that are focused on speaking. Want to speak real Bulgarian from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at bulgarianpod101.com. Top 25 Bulgarian phrases, though they are. I mean, these are key phrases that you need to start a conversation, to introduce yourself, to say the, the basic phrases of every language. So if you want to be 25 Bulgarian phrases ahead of the rest of the people who don't know those, grab a pen and a notebook and let's start. Zdravej. Zdravej. Hello. How to start? How should we start? I think 
There is no better way to start but to say Zdravej! <laughs> Zdravej! Hello! Well, hello everyone! Um, Zdravej is like an informal way to say it. You can say Zdravejte, the formal one. Um, also plural, yeah. You can say Zdravejte to multiple people. And also if, um, if you hear that some Bulgarian people say Zdrasti, Zdrasti. This is the short version of hello. Just hi. Dobro utro. Dobro utro. Good morning. How do you usually start the day? If you see somebody, you would greet them with Dobro utro. Dobro utro. Good morning. This phrase I love a lot because of the vibration of it. Dobro utro. Practice your R's in, uh, in this phrase. Also, I like to use it because we're one step ahead um, of our southern neighbors, the Greek people, who don't even have a phrase for good morning. They just start from Kalimera, which is the day. <laughs> I don't know why nobody celebrates the morning over there. We do. Dobar den. Dobar den. Good afternoon. Moving on later in the day. Dobar den. Dobar den. Good afternoon. Now, here's a tricky part because it may be 10 a.m. in the morning, but you can hear a Bulgarian saying Dobar den, which literally is good afternoon, but we use it more as good day to you. So remember it, dobar den. Leka nošt. Leka nošt. Good night. When you go to bed, you would hear a Bulgarian person wishing you leka nošt. Leka nošt. This is good night. Good night, good night. I remember a song from my childhood. There was a television show just before the little kids would go to bed uh, and the show was called Lekanost Deca Good Night Children Deca and it was about a character named Suncho Suncho which is like a sleepy boy anyway memories from my childhood moving on Kak se kazvaš Kak se kazvaš What's your name? Now that you've learned how to greet people according to the part of the day your encounter is happening, how to properly introduce yourself? You can ask them for, for their name. Kak se kazvaš? Kak se kazvaš? This is pretty much asking what's your name? You can also make it uh, plural or formal by saying Te at the end. Kak se kazva te? What is your name formal? And how do we reply to that? As sam maya. As sam maya. I'm maya. As sam daria. As sam daria. As sam daria. This is a way of saying I am daria. And what do we usually add after that, after we introduce our name? Prijatno mi je da se zapoznajem. Prijatno mi je da se zapoznajem. Nice to meet you. Usually after we say our name, we would add. Prijatno mi je da se zapoznajem. Right? It's very simple. <laughs> Prijatno... Mi e da se zapoznajem. Nice to meet you. Now, you can just use the first uh, part of this phrase, which is prijatno mi je. It's nice. <laughs> That's pretty much enough for a Bulgarian. But if you want to sound more like a true Bulgarian, you gotta say prijatno mi je da se zapoznajem. Kak si? Kak si? How are you? Kak si? 
Как си? How are you? This is a classic question you can ask anybody and um, it's a door opener, by the way. I've heard I use it quite a lot in the US or other countries. However, please, I beg of you, when you ask Kaxi, really show interest and really mean it. Kaxi. Благодаря добре. А ти? Благодаря добре. А ти? I'm fine, thanks. And you? And usually there is the answer. Благодаря добре. А ти? Благодаря добре. А ти? Literally, uh, I'm fine, thank you. And how about you? Благодаря добре. Благодаря добре. А ти? I'm fine, thanks. And you? Literally, благодаря is thank you. Добре is good. Thank you, good. А ти? And you? Uh, you can juggle with that or you can say how you really feel. You may be moody, you may be happy, you may be uh, anxious. So you can add whatever you like in that little phrase. Uh, благодаря, добре. Благодаря, не добре. <laughs> Моля. Моля. Please. Моля. Моля. It's a very important word because it shows politeness. It shows good intention. This is the Bulgarian word for please. Please. Also, molia means uh, I beg you, I beg of you. But uh, you can also add it to um, any sentence if you would like to request something. And we'll see later on how to use molia. Благодаря. Благодаря. Thank you. The next word is a very important one because it shows gratitude. Благодаря. Благодаря. One word. It means thank you. But the root of the word is благо, which is... Um, Oh, the best, the best things or the nice things. Daria, I'm gifting them to you. Like nice things I'm giving. Um, so you can say Blagodaria. But also for people who don't feel um, confident in saying this long word in Bulgarian, it's fine for you to use the French merci because we've stolen that one in our language. Пак заповядай. Пак заповядай. You are welcome. And usually if you say благодаря, you can say right afterwards. Пак заповядай. Пак заповядай. You are welcome. And you have the nicest of nicest things in your relationship with the person you have just met. Nice, nice base to work on from then on. Da. Yes. Here are the two most important words to reply a yes and no question, which are which are the words yes and no. Da. Da in Bulgarian means yes. Ne. No. Ne in Bulgarian means no. But don't confuse it with the type of nodding, because all over the world. This means da, and this means ne. But only in Bulgaria, it's vice versa. So this would mean no, and this would mean yes. Not ne, da. Why? I can't even tell you. I can't. <laughs> Some psychology thing, sociology, I don't know. Dobre. Okay. Remember the phrase that we've used before? Благодаря добре. 
uh, replying to how are you feeling today? Uh, good, thank you. Good. This is the word dobre. Dobre. This means okay in Bulgarian and it's okay to use it as much as possible just because of the good vibration of it. Dobre, dobre. Izvinete. Izvinete. Excuse me. Another of the top 25 Bulgarian phrases that everybody should know is izvinete. Izvinete. Excuse me. Yes, people should learn how to use this word as much as possible. Because, first of all, Bulgarian people rarely use it. Why? If, so, if they step on your foot uh, or they push you or punch you or do something horrible to you, they would say, Opa! They may even crush your car and they will say, Opa! Which literally is, oops! They would not say, excuse me, I apologize, and they would just go away. Yeah, because uh, we are such people. But really, a lot of people say, Opa! Opa, which is, I think it's a Greek word as well. Opa! Opa! Opa, hey! Uh, okay. Sajalavam. Sajalavam. I'm sorry. Another good word to use is Sajalavam. Sajalavam. Now, uh, this means I'm sorry. And I'm sorry, but a lot of people ha find difficulty pronouncing the now I'm having difficulty speaking. Pronouncing uh, the U uh in the beginning because we have this sound. Uh, uh. The Brazilian people would understand perfectly what I'm talking about because they have this sound. But if you don't, stress on sejalhavam. Uh, sejalhavam. It actually makes, you, makes your body feel good after you say it. So I'm sorry. Use it as much as you can. Колко е часът? Колко е часът? What time is it? So you're walking the streets of Sofia or Plovdiv and you have a meeting with a, a local person to show you around. You've agreed to meet at 2 o'clock somewhere, but you don't have a watch. Uh, the phone, the battery on your phone is dead, so there is no way for you to know is it 2 o'clock already or not. Here is a way to ask for it. Колко часът? Колко е часът? What's the time? Usually, as, a, as an answer, you would get just a number. Two. <laughs> два. Два часа. Три часа. Четири. And it's useful if you know the Bulgarian numbers. Къде е туалетната? Къде е туалетната? Where is the restroom? Another very useful phrase, which is definitely among the top 25 Bulgarian phrases you should know, is this one. Къде е туалетната? Къде е туалетната? The double O. Okay, where is the restroom? Um, <laughs> I don't know why, why I feel saying that learning this will open a lot of doors for you. Hopefully it will open a lot of doors for you and you don't have to wait in front of the restroom. But in Bulgaria, there are a lot, a lot of uh, public restrooms around you. You can use any cafe or restaurant for this. Uh, and literally, you can just say toilet and they'll understand you because toilet, toaletna. Very similar. Ischakite za moment. Ischakite za moment. Wait a moment. Here is another phrase. If you hear somebody say, Ischakite za moment. Ischakite za moment. They usually mean, wait a moment. I hope you don't hear this uh, in front of the restroom door. 
But in case that happens, you know that you have to wait. Hey, sometimes in life you have to wait for the good things to come and to happen to you. Колко струва това? Колко струва това? How much is this? So, you, you've had a wonderful day sightseeing and you've met the local person and then you enter a souvenir shop. But in the souvenir shop, there is no price announced. Now, if that happens, you can ask. Колко струва това? Колко струва това? How much is this? And again, they'll give you a number as an answer. So it's always handy and good to learn the Bulgarian numbers first. Pomost. Pomost. Help. If you need help, ask for it. You can say Pomost. Pomost. Help. Yell it as loud as you can. Pomost. Um, it's a funny thing that we Bulgarians have been exposed so much to Western movies that almost everybody would know the English version of, of Pomost, which is help. However, you will sound like a true Bulgarian if you learn Pomost. Do skoro. Do skoro. See you later. We are almost towards the end. It seems proper that I give you two phrases of how to part with people. So, bear with me. Do skoro. Do skoro. Means, uh, see you later. Do viždane. Do viždane. Goodbye. Another word would be do viždane. Do viždane. Goodbye. And don't be afraid to use the Italian ciao because it's so short and so easy and everybody uses it. And this is another foreign word that we have stolen and claimed in our, in our Bulgarian language. Ne znam. Ne znam. I don't know. Ne znam. Ne znam. This is a way of saying I don't know. And in my personal opinion, this phrase can get you out of almost any situation. Whatever they ask you, you just say ne znam. And you can add bulgarski at the end of that sentence. For example, ne znam bulgarski. <laughs> and that will be enough for the people to leave you alone. Mm -hmm. If you do know Bulgarian, which you do by watching BulgarianPod101.com, you can just say Znam. I know. Bulgarski. Bulgarian. Znam Bulgarski. I know Bulgarian. 10 questions you should know. And um, why have I picked those? You'll see why. Here is some explanation at the end of every uh, question and sample answer you're gonna get. So if you are ready to start, let's go! Как се казвате? Как се казвате? What's your name? Here is the first question. Как се казвате? Как се казвате? What's your name? Great! Pay attention that казвате is actually formal way to say, uh, to ask for somebody's name, kazvate. The informal way and first person of the verb kazvamse is kazvash. Kak se kazvash? You can ask this to somebody you feel familiar with. How to reply? Very simple. Kazvamse Daria. Kazvamse Daria. My name is Daria. Very simple, and you can also say as sum Daria. I am Daria. Various, various name. You can even forget the um, verb part and ju just reply with your name. As simple as that. 
Как сте? Как сте? How are you? The next question you should know actually logically follows the first one. Как сте? Как сте? How are you? Right? After you ask for somebody's name, let's ask how do they feel? Uh, again, with this one, remember that как сте is a formal way to ask a person. Or you can ask multiple persons, multiple people, personas. <laughs> okay, great. Как сте turns into как си. This is the informal way of asking how are you. And how do you reply? Here is a sample. Добре съм благодаря. Добре съм благодаря. I'm fine. Thank you. Uh, it's a good thing to add the благодаря at the end. It really gives, gives a hint that you are a human being. I encourage you to use благодаря as often as you can. Because in my culture, we don't get to use it a lot. От къде си? От къде си? Where are you from? Great! Now that you have found out what's the person's name and how do they feel, you can ask them. От къде си? От къде си? Where are you from? Um, and... A possible answer to this could be от Sofia. От Sofia. From Sofia. You can change the location and turn it into Plovdiv, Varna, Ruse, Burgas, or whatever uh, town you are from. But this is how you can ask a Bulgarian person. От къде си? Where are you from? Кога е рожденият ти ден? Кога е Рожденият ти ден. When is your birthday? Another question I really like to ask people because I'm so uh, interested in astrology that I would like right away to know everybody's zodiac sign. Um, maybe that makes me a little bit prejudiced, but hey, I bond with some some signs and some not, so I have to watch out for, for those people. So I will ask, Koga e rozdeniat ti den? Koga e rozdeniat ti den? When is your birthday? It's a phrase that needs a little bit of practice because of a lot of um, z, d sounds, but uh, you'll get to it very quickly, I am sure. And how do you reply to that? If you don't want to give away your birthday, you can just reply by uh, giving your month of birth. For example, I'm born in February, so I would answer. Prez februari. Prez februari. It's a very similar to February. Februari. Uh, just a little bit of a trick over there in pronunciation, but that means in February. And I, indeed, was born in February. This makes me an Aquarius. Kde živeš? Kde živeš? Where do you live? So, after you've learned the person's birthday, but before you ask them straight for their bank account number, you can ask them this. Къде живеш? Къде живеш? Where do you live? And, of course, they will try to get around the, uh, the answer. So, you may get an answer like this. Живея с приятели. Живея с приятели. I live with friends. Of course, this means leave me alone and don't ask me any more questions, please. But hey, it's better to live with friends, by the way, than with your family. It shows up that you are taking responsibility for your adult life. So great that you're living with friends. Kde robotis? Kde robotis? Where do you work? One of the favorite questions 
Somebody would ask you, of course, because they try, you know, to figure out what class, what social class you belong to or how much money you make. Of course, they would ask you this. Kde robotiš? Kde robotiš? Where do you work? To which you can, of course, uh, create your own story if you don't would like if you don't like to deal with uh, nosy people. But if you truly would like to answer uh, honestly, uh, tell whatever you work. But here is a way of saying it. V jedna turistička agencija. V jedna turistička agencija. I think you almost uh, thought of what exactly this means in English, and uh, it means in a travel agency, in a tourist agency. Yes. So, if you work, for example, in a bank, you can say v fedna banka, or if you don't work at all, you can say I am a happy person. Kakaf e telefoniet ti nomer? Kakaf e telefoniet ti nomer? What's your phone number? Some people would like to know a lot of things about you, so they may ask you. Kakaf e telefoniet ti nomer? Kakaf e telefoniet ti nomer? Mm-hmm. What's your phone number? Of course, if it's a very important business connection, you would give your phone number to this person that you're talking to. However, if it's just a random person who is trying to interfere in your life, this is how you reply. Predpočitam da ne go davam na nepoznati. Predpočitam da ne go davam na nepoznati. I prefer not giving it to strangers. Um, I think that you would agree with me on this one. Kde ste učili bulgarski jezik? Kde ste učili bulgarski jezik? Where did you learn Bulgarian? Great guys! So, you are in a party with Bulgarian people and you are impressing them with the Bulgarian language you've already learned, so it's natural that somebody should ask you. Kde ste učili bulgarski jezik? Kde ste Učili bulgarski jezik. Where have you learned Bulgarian? Great, so be prepared for this question. So when this question comes, here is how you answer. Na leten lager vrodopite. Na leten lager v rodopite. My favorite mountain, rodopi. Uh, this literally translates as in a summer camp in the Rodopi Mountains. Great! Um, this is a good way to learn Bulgarian right over there. Another good way is to comment on this channel. I learned Bulgarian with BulgarianPod101.com. Uh, and if somebody asks you, Kde ste učili bulgarski? You can say, BulgarianPod101.com which literally is our name with the S in the front. Харесвате ли българската кухня? Харесвате ли българската кухня? Do you like Bulgarian food? And of course, a conversation with a Bulgarian person would not be complete without them asking you about our food. How do you find it? So, a Bulgarian person may ask you. Харесвате ли българската кухня? Харесвате ли българската кухня? Do you like Bulgarian food? What do you think the answer should be? Please never tell a Bulgarian person you don't like the Bulgarian cuisine. Even if you don't like it, we take pride in everything that is Bulgarian for some reason. So, also, this is a very good shortcut to insult the Bulgarian. Tell them you don't like their um, food. However, for the purposes of making friendship, 
Here is how you should answer the question. Absolutno. Obozhavam ja. Absolutno. Obozhavam ja. Mm-hmm. Definitely yes. I love it. You love it and they will love you for loving it. Bili li ste v Bulgarija? Bili li ste v Bulgarija? Have you been to Bulgaria? The next question may come into conversation if you are outside of Bulgaria somewhere and you meet Bulgarian people or anybody who would like to ask about our country. So the question would be Bili li ste v Bulgaria? Bili li ste v Bulgaria? Have you been to Bulgaria? And in case this conversation is not happening in my country, you can reply. Ne, nikoga, no mnogo bih iskala. Ne, nikoga, no mnogo bih iskala. This means no, never, but I would like to very much. However, pay, te- pay attention that this phrase mnogo bih iskala, I would like to very much, is Only if you are a female saying it. If you are a male saying it, you should say Mnogo bih iskal. So there is just one letter difference, but it makes the whole uh, change of gender over there. Здрасти! Аз се казвам Ива. Hi everybody, I'm Ива. Welcome to BulgarianPod101.com's Bulgarski v 3 minuti The fastest, easiest and most fun way to learn Bulgarian. In the last lesson, we learned how to show gratitude to people by saying Bogodaria. In this lesson, we'll learn some of the most common greetings used in Bulgaria. Gotovi li ste? Are you ready? Započvame! So let's start! The most used informal greeting is Zdrasti! Zdrasti! Zdrasti means hi or hello. We should only use this greeting with friends or relatives. There is one more word which is an informal way to say hello. Zdravej. It has the same meaning as drasti and is used when we speak only with one person. Zdravej. And now let's continue with the formal way to greet people. The most general version is Dobar den. Dobar den. Literally, Dobar den means good day. So as a rule, we can use Dobar den only during the daytime, from morning until evening. During the evening, we say Dobar večer. Dobar večer. Večer is Bulgarian for evening. So Dobar večer means good evening. During the morning, we say Dobro utro. Dobro utro. Utro is Bulgarian for morning. Dobro utro, Dobar den and Dobar večer are used when we meet someone, but when we leave, we use another word. In this formal situation, Bulgarian people use Dovizdane. Dovizdane. Dovizdane means goodbye. Finally, in Bulgarian, we have an expression meaning see you soon that can be considered both formal and informal. Do skoro. Do skoro. Now you can greet people in many different ways in Bulgarian. Let's review them all again. When meeting in an informal situation, zdrasti or zdravej for one person. When meeting older people or someone we don't know in the different times of the day. Dobro utro, dobar den, dobar večer. When living in a formal situation, dovištane. When living no matter whether it is a formal or informal situation, do skoro. It's easy, isn't it? Now it's time for Eva's insights. Remember, merci from the last lesson. Bulgarian uses a lot of words borrowed from other languages 
and we also have one for goodbye. Ciao! Just like Italian, this is actually the phrase you will hear the most in Bulgaria. Friends often say it to each other when leaving. Try to say it to your Bulgarian friends. Ciao! During the next lesson, we'll learn the meaning of the phrase Govorite li anglijski. Do you already know it? We'll be waiting to talk about it with you in our next Bulgarski v 3 minuti lesson. Do skoro! Zdrasti, asam Iva. Hi everybody, I'm Iva. Welcome to BulgarianPod101.com's Bulgarski v 3 minuti. The fastest, easiest and most fun way to learn Bulgarian. In the last lesson, we learned how to talk about your plans. In this lesson, we are going to deal with the to be verb, some. We will also discuss how to talk about your nationality. When you meet a new person in Bulgaria, they might ask you, Otkadeste, which is the equivalent of where do you come from? Ste is a conjugated form of the to be verb some. Otkade means from where, and it implies from which country or place. Altogether, it is Otkadeste. Otkadeste. Answering this question is very easy. You can just say Asam, which means I am, then your country's name. For example, Asam ot America. Asam ot America. But it is more natural to say your nationality. Asam Americanets. Just replace Americanets with your own nationality. I am German is Asam Germanets. I am Italian is Asam Italianets. I am Brazilian is Asam Brazilets. Be careful because this is how you refer to your nationality if you are a man. For the feminine form, you have to add ka instead of ets at the end of the nationality. For example, if you are an American woman, you will say Asam Americanka. German women say Asam Germanka. For Brazilian women, it is Asam Brazilka. And so on. To return the question, you can simply say Avie, which is and you, in a polite way. Now it's time for Eva's insights. Be careful because in Bulgarian we don't write nationality names with a capital letter like in English. The same applies for languages, they are also written in lower case. In this lesson, we learned how to talk about your nationality. Next time, we'll continue to study the verb some and we'll see how to use it to talk about locations. By the way, do you know how to ask someone where they are in Bulgarian? I'll be waiting for you with the answer in the next Bulgarski v 3 minuti. Do skoro! Zdrasti, asam Iva. Hi everybody, I'm Iva. Welcome to BulgarianPod101.com's Bulgarski v 3 minuti. The fastest, easiest and most fun way to learn Bulgarian. In the last lesson, we learned how to use the verb otivam, which means to go. In this lesson, we will continue talking about some of the most common Bulgarian verbs. The second verb is pravia, which means to do. But as in English, you'll see that the meaning of this verb is quite broad. Imagine someone asks you, kakvo pravish? That's an informal way to ask, what are you doing? So, if you're making your breakfast, for example, you could answer, pravia si zakuska. So, let's break it down. Pravia is, I'm doing. It is the first person form of the verb pravia, which is to do in present tense. Next is, si, which is a pronoun used to express for me or myself. Finally, we had zakuska, which is a noun and means breakfast. Pravia si zakuska. Note that in Bulgarian, to say that you're doing something right now, all you need is the basic present tense. For example, if someone asks you to come and give him a hand, but you're busy making coffee, you can say Sajalavam pravia cafe, which literally means sorry, I make coffee. Here we are using the basic present tense. So now let's have a broader look at what you can say with this verb pravia in Bulgarian. It is maybe the most useful verb since you say almost everything with it. 
It can mean to prepare as we saw just before, but it can also mean to practice as in pravi upražnenje, which is I am exercising. It can be also used for different types of work as in pravi razsledvane and pravi si sledvane. The first means I am investigating something and the second one is I am getting examined. This verb can also express the concept of to create or to make, as in pravio sculptor od kamak, which is I do stone sculptures. Also, you can use it as in pravio snimki, I'm taking photos. Now it's time for Eva's insights. If you hang out with Bulgarian friends, you might hear kakvo ste pravim tazi večer, which means what are we going to do tonight? If you are with some friends at night and you haven't decided your plans yet, you can ask it. It will sound very natural. Какво ще правим тази вечер? In this lesson, we learned how to use the verb pravia in many different contexts, and I'm sure it will help you a lot. Next time, we learn another very useful and romantic verb obicham. I'll be waiting for you in the next Bulgarski 3 minuti lesson. До скоро! Today we're going to talk about four techniques to help you stop translating in your head and instead start thinking in your target language. This will allow you to have conversations with ease, read smoothly, and better understand native speakers. These are four methods to help you think in a new language. Number one, surround yourself with your target language. This way, you'll be completely immersed in the language. Without realizing it, you'll learn pronunciation, sentence structures, grammar, and new vocabulary. Play music in the background while you're cooking, or have a radio station on while you study. Just use one of our endless podcasts available to you. These are easy to listen to in the background while doing other things. Number two, learn through observation. This is how we all learned our native languages as kids words will develop their own meanings that relate better to your target language, rather than meanings that are translated directly. Number three, speak out loud to yourself. Even if you're a little embarrassed, it forces you to listen to how you speak. It makes it much easier to spot simple grammar mistakes. Number four, practice daily. If you practice everything for only one day, you won't retain the information you learned. The brain can realistically only focus for about 30 minutes. So studying a little every day allows you to absorb better. Follow these steps and have patience. You'll soon be able to achieve your language learning goals. Just make sure to remember these four methods. Sign up for your free lifetime account, no credit card required, and you'll get the best free online resources. And start learning more every day. Hi guys, how are you doing today? Welcome to a new episode of BulgarianPod101.com. I'm your host, Daria, and today I'm gonna to walk you through 10 phrases you always want to hear. So, are you ready to start complimenting other people? Let's go! Izgleždaš strahotno dnes. Izgleždaš strahotno dnes. You look great today. Now, it's something that I would like to point your attention on. It's the word strahotno, which is literally translated as scary, by the way, because it uh, derives from the word strašno, which is scary. So, Bulgarians use it in a way of saying great, but it's funny how uh, it sounds when you think about it. You look scary today. And it sounds such a normal thing to say in Bulgarian, by the way. Uh, so use it everywhere you go. You look wonderful today. You look great today. Izgleždaš strahotno dnes. Lipsvaš mi. Lipsvaš mi. I miss you. Yes, this is something uh, either say, say too rarely or we do say excessively. I do encourage everybody to find a balance in it, and this comes from meaning it uh, from your heart. I am gonna miss you until the next episode. Ste mi lipsvate. Svrši čudesna rabota. 
Свърши чудесна работа. You did a great job. Yes, uh, I do believe that if somebody hears this phrase more often, they're not only going to be flattered, but they will uh, improve their work overall. Свърши чудесна работа. Ще има бонус в края на месеца. Ще има бонус в края на месеца. There will be a bonus at the end of the month. It's definitely what everybody would like to hear if they have done a good job. Even if they have not done a good job, it will make them do a better job. Because imagine if you're doing something for many years and you don't receive any kind of appreciation for that. Not even a single small thing. So the bonus is definitely something you should use to make somebody do better work. Ти готвиш превъзходно. Ти готвиш превъзходно. You're an excellent cook. Yes, everybody would like to hear that even though sometimes you may burn the dish but your friends are there to support you so they may be saying oh, as, as if they're mocking you. Ти си превъзходен Готвач, ти готвиш превъзходно. You are an exceptional cook. Uh, well, the more you burn dishes, I know, the better you become as a cook, so please never stop cooking. Почини си. Аз ще почистя днес. Почини си. Аз ще почистя днес. Take a break. I'll do the cleaning today. Open the heart and the doors to every mother's heart. Guaranteed, proof, uh, read and checked and all that. И вие печелите! И вие печелите! And you win! I uh, specifically think that if you invest the money you spend on scratch tickets into something else, you are on the winning side of spending your money. For sure. Ти беше прав. Ти беше прав. You were right. Why is it so hard to admit something like that? I don't know. Maybe because Bulgarian people, they think they know everything about everything. Uh, from science to sport to politics to anything. Uh, so please say it uh, even though people are not right. Нося ти нещо специално. Нося ти нещо специално. I brought you something special. It is very intriguing and exciting to hear something like that, isn't it? Uh, unless this special something is a cat. And there you can bid farewell to your living room couch. Бюджетът е неограничен. Бюджетът е неограничен. The budget is unlimited. Can you imagine a world where there is no money or, or there is a budget but it's unlimited? What are the things that everybody can do? Everybody can accomplish their dreams no matter how far-fetched are they. You can even uh, go to the end of the universe if there is such. Mm-hmm. So unlimited budget, unlimited dreams. Make it happen. I am leaving you for now because we have come to the end of this episode of BulgarianPod101.com. However, I'm looking forward to our next episode. Until then, please let me know which of these 10 phrases you always want to hear you like the best or is there anything you would like to hear personally so I can translate it for you. Add it in the comment section below this video and also find where the red button is. Somewhere over here. I forgot where it is. It's a red button that says subscribe. Subscribe for this channel to get more videos like this. And we're going to see each other again uh, in the next linguistic adventure. Until then, check the website bulgarianpod101.com for more uh, lessons in Bulgarian. I'm your host, Aria, and I'll see you very soon. In this lesson, you're going to learn how to introduce yourself in Bulgarian.
But first, it's important to clarify that in Bulgarian, there is a difference between the formal and the informal language. Let's first see how Bulgarian people introduce themselves in an informal situation. Здрасти, а се казвам Ива. Приятно ми е да се запознаем. Hi, I'm Ива. Nice to meet you. Здрасти, а се казвам Ива. Приятно ми е да се запознаем. Start by saying Здрасти, а се казвам Then say your name. Здрасти, а се казвам Ива. Finally say Приятно ми е да се запознаем. Здрасти, а се казвам Ива. Приятно ми е да се запознаем. And now let's see the same sentence in formal speech. Здравейте, а се казвам Ива Георгиева. Приятно ми е да се запознаем. Hello, I'm Ива Георгиева. Nice to meet you. Здравейте, а се казвам Ива Георгиева. Приятно ми е да се запознаем. So, what has changed from the previous introduction? Let's take a close look at this together. Здрасти has been substituted with the formal greeting Здравейте, formal Bulgarian for hello. А се казвам Ива has not been changed. А се казвам stands in both cases for I am or my name is. However, during a formal self-introduction we also say our last name. So I said Ива Георгиева. Here you would say your full name. Finally, the ending remains the same. Приятно ми е да се запознаем. It is a universal Bulgarian greeting meaning nice to meet you. One more time. The informal way to introduce yourself in Bulgarian is Здрасти, а се казвам Ива. Приятно ми е да се запознаем. The formal way to introduce yourself is Здравейте, а се казвам Ива Георгиева. Приятно ми е да се запознаем. Now it's time for Eva's insights. When you introduce yourself, it's a good habit to shake hands in Bulgaria. And if you're not sure whether to use Здрасти or Здравейте, just say simply Добър ден, which means hello and is used during the daytime. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to use good manners as we thank people. Готови ли сте? Are you ready? Да започваме! So let's start! There are several ways to thank someone. Let's start with the easiest. It's just one word. Благодаря. Благодаря. Благодаря means thank you. When saying thank you very much, you just need to add много. Много благодаря. Много благодаря. Много means a lot. So, много благодаря is like saying thank you very much. During the last lesson, we mentioned both the informal and the formal way of speaking Bulgarian. Благодаря is the most common way to thank someone. If you want to be more casual, there is another word you should use and you will be amazed which word that is. Merci. Merci. Merci is a loan word from French, but it is pronounced with the typical Bulgarian hard R. R. It is used mainly in informal situations. Merci. How do you answer? It's easy. There are basically two different ways to do it. The first is Няма защо. Няма защо. Няма защо literally means there is no reason, but it is the equivalent of don't mention it. The other way to say you're welcome is the word Моля. Моля. Literally, this word means I beg or please, but it has become a common way to respond to someone thanking you. So when someone says Bogudaria to you, we can simply reply with Няма защо or Моля. Now it's time for Eva's insights. 
If you're not sure about whether to use Merci or Bogudaria, keeping it simple is always your safest bet. You don't have to worry about formal or informal situations. Bogudaria can be used with just about anyone, anywhere, and at any time. In this lesson, we'll learn some of the most common greetings used in Bulgaria. Gotovi liste? Are you ready? Zapotvame! So let's start! The most used informal greeting is Zdrasti. Zdrasti. Zdrasti means hi or hello. We should only use this greeting with friends or relatives. There is one more word which is informal way to say hello. Zdravej. It has the same meaning as Zdrasti and is used when we speak only with one person. Zdravej. And now let's continue with the formal way to greet people. The most general version is Dobar den. Dobar den. Literally, Dobar den means good day. So as a rule, we can use Dobar den only during the daytime, from morning until evening. During the evening, we say Dobar večer. Dobar večer. Večer is Bulgarian for evening, so Dobar večer means good evening. During the morning we say Dobro utro. Dobro utro. Utro is Bulgarian for morning. Dobro utro, Dobar den and Dobar večer are used when we meet someone, but when we leave we use another word. In this formal situation, Bulgarian people use Duvizdane. Duvizdane. Duvizdane means goodbye. Finally, in Bulgarian, we have an expression meaning see you soon that can be considered both formal and informal. Doskoro. Doskoro. Now you can greet people in many different ways in Bulgarian. Let's review them all again. When meeting in an informal situation, Zdrasti or Zdravej for one person. When meeting older people or someone we don't know in the different times of the day, Dobro utro, Dobar den, Dobar večer. When leaving in a formal situation, Duvistane. When leaving, no matter whether it is a formal or informal situation, Doskoro. It's easy, isn't it? Now it's time for Eva's insights. Remember Merci from the last lesson? Bulgarian uses a lot of words borrowed from other languages and we also have one for goodbye. Ciao! Just like Italian. This is actually the phrase you will hear the most in Bulgaria. Friends often say to each other when leaving. Try to say it to your Bulgarian friends. Ciao! Want to speak real Bulgarian from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at BulgarianPod101.com. Dobar den. Dobar den. Kak ste? Dobre sam, Bogudarija. Zdravej, a se kazam Petjo. Zdrasti, a sam Tanja. Prijatno me da se zapoznajem. И на мен също. Добре дошъл, заповядай. Благодаря. Това е малък подарък от мен. Заповядай. О, много благодаря. Няма защо. Ох, а, извинете. Да. Кръкът ми. О, съжалявам. Добър вечер. Извинете, мен око обичате. Разбира се. Извинете и вода, ако обичате. Веднага. Извинете, искам да поръчам. Да. First you'll see an image and hear a question. Next comes a short dialogue. Listen carefully and see if you can answer correctly. We'll show you the answer at the end. Are you ready?
мъж и жена си говорят. Какво първо ще направят те? Какво искаш да правим днес? Искам да отида на кино. Добре, аз искам да гледам бейсболен матч по телевизията. Аз искам и да отида на пазар. Бейсболният матч започва в един следобяд. Добре, тогава нека първо да ходим на кино, а след това ти можеш да гледаш бейсболния матч. Добре, тогава ще отидем на пазар вечерта. Какво първо ще направят те? Мъж и жена си говорят. Какво първо ще направят те? Какво искаш да правим днес? Искам да отида на кино. Добре, аз искам да гледам бейсболен матч по телевизията. Аз искам и да отида на пазар. Бейсболният матч започва в един следобяд. Добре, тогава нека първо да ходим на кино, а след това ти можеш да гледаш бейсболния матч. Добре, тогава ще отидем на пазар вечерта. Една жена обядва в ресторант. Какво ще си поръча тя? Желаете ли кафе или десерт след основното ядене? Какъв десерт предлагате? Имаме пудинг и ябълков пай. Ммм, всъщност искам само кафе, моля. Желаете ли захар и мляко? Донесете го с мляко, моля. Какво ще си поръча тя? Една жена обядва в ресторант. Какво ще си поръча тя? Желаете ли кафе или десерт след основното ядене? Какъв десерт предлагате? Имаме пудинг и ябълков пай. Ммм, всъщност искам само кафе, моля. Желаете ли захар и мляко? Донесете го с мляко, моля. Пътувам в чужбина. Пътувам в чужбина. To travel abroad. If you ask a random Bulgarian of how he or she would prefer to spend his or her time in the summer, he or she will probably answer Go abroad. Пътувам в чужбина. To travel abroad. Well, yeah, there is something in our culture that now that we can travel more freely, now that we are in the European Union, we do take advantage of visiting Italy, Greece, and so on and so forth. It's just so easy because it's right there. Uh, however, many other people do not uh, travel or have never been outside the frontier, like my grandmother. Моя баба никога не е потувала в чужбина. Моята баба никога не е пътувала в чужбина. My grandma has never traveled abroad. Which is somewhat true about my grandmother because she constantly watches this travel channel and if I call her on a random day and ask her, Hey grandma, how you doing today? She would reply, Hey, hi, I've been to Mexico and Guatemala in Costa Rica this afternoon, how about you? Well, Grandma, this may count, but you don't have magnets from the places you've been. Ha-ha! So, Daria, Grandmother, one to zero. Почивам си на плажа. Почивам си на плажа. To relax at the beach. Another popular response you might get from a Bulgarian about their free time in the summer would definitely be go to the beach, but not just go, relax on the beach. Potivam si na plaza, to relax at the beach. Here is an example of this phrase in a sentence. Istinskata počivka e kogato si počivam na plaza. 
Истинската почивка е когато си почивам на плажа. It's a true holiday when I'm relaxing on the beach. This is true for so many people. And by the way, you can be very sure that you can have a relaxing vacation in Bulgaria because we don't have sharks in the Black Sea. There you go. Уча български язик с bulgarianpod101.com Уча български език с bulgarianpod101.com To learn Bulgarian with bulgarianpod101.com Another use of your time in the summer is to do something practical and to get a new skill. Uh, improving your skills is something very important. Like уча български език с Bulgarian Pod 101, like you're doing right now. Уча български език с Bulgarian Pod 101. To learn Bulgarian with Bulgarian Pod 101. And the next example in a sentence is a tribute to you, the viewers. Можете да научите български език с Bulgarian Pod 101.com. Можете да научите. Bulgarski ezik z bulgarianpod101.com You can learn Bulgarian language with bulgarianpod101.com Yes, it's as simple as that. Just subscribe and keep on watching videos like this. By the way, you're gonna learn a lot of fun facts about Bulgaria in this one. Stay with me. Uča se da gotvija bulgarski jastija. Uča se da Gotvia Bulgarski Yastia. To learn to cook Bulgarian food. Uča se da gotvia Bulgarski Yastia. Uča se da gotvia Bulgarski Yastia. To learn to cook Bulgarian food. Oh, definitely this is something very important, especially for um, my friend who recently got married and I'm gonna say why. It was very important for her to learn how to cook moussaka. First, let me give you the example with this. Tia iska da se nauči da gotvi bulgarski jastija. Tia iska da se nauči da gotvi bulgarski jastija. It's a very simple sentence. Uh, Here is it in English. She wants to learn how to cook Bulgarian Uh, Bulgarian food. Why did you want to do that? Because in Bulgarian culture we have the saying if a woman does not know how to cook a proper moussaka then she is not eligible for marriage yet. So one way to uh, look for a wife test her cooking skills. Organiziram barbecue. Organiziram barbecue. To have a barbecue. Organiziram barbecue. To have barbecue. Yes, you may not be a sophisticated cook as my friend to cook a whole dish of moussaka or kapama, but barbecue is much simpler and it gives you the benefit to be outside to cook delicious food and to share it with as many friends as you have. So here's an example of how to use this phrase in Bulgarian. В неделя ще организираме барбекю. В неделя ще организираме барбекю. We will organize a barbecue on Sunday. By the way, here's a bonus to, uh, to this phrase. I'm going to give you the Bulgarian word for barbecue, which is skara. So with skara, every day is a Sunday here in Bulgaria. Welcome. Every day is a scatter day. Kuponjasvam tjala nošt. Kuponjasvam tjala nošt. To party all night. Our next phrase is about partying, because that's one of the best things you can do in the summer in Bulgaria, apparently. You just go to the seaside or in a big uh, city uh, club or something like that and Kuponjasvam tjala nošt. To party all night. 
Here is how you can use the phrase in Bulgarian. Той купонясва цяла нощ с приятели. Той купонясва цяла нощ с приятели. He partied all night with friends. And I'll tell you who this he is. It's my friend George, in the example that fits perfectly for him, because he once said to me, I may be 70 years old, but I'll never stop partying. He may be either exaggerating or there is a true thread there that he may be a vampire. Forever young, I wanna be a vampire. <laughs> All right. Получавам загар. Получавам загар. To get a tan. So summertime is connected to beach time. And of course, what can you do at the beach? You may think of multiple answers to that question. But if you ask a Bulgarian person, they would say Получавам загар. To get a tan. Yes, that's undoubtedly the best, uh, the most favorite thing a Bulgarian person would do at the beach, especially if it's a Bulgarian woman. I have no idea why, but you can recognize a Bulgarian chick at the beach because she would not be swimming, she would not be sandcastle building, and she would not be engaging in sport activities, uh, water activities at all. She'll be just lying on the sand, sun tanning. Yes, and here's an example how you can use this in a sentence. Той беше на Малдивите през зимата и е получил загар. Той беше на Малдивите през зимата и е получил загар. He was in the Maldives in the winter and he got a tan. Well, good for him. He may not be a Bulgarian woman, but Bulgarian men are also, uh, they also have vanity about the way they look. Отивам на разходка в планината. Отивам на разходка в планината. To go hiking. The next phrase I'm going to suggest about things to do in Bulgaria in the summer is my favorite one. Because I'm a mountain girl and that's where you can find me during the summer. Hiking. Отивам на разходка в планината. To go hiking. Yes, and if you want to use this in a sentence, here's how you can say it. Много хора отиват на разходка в планината през почивните дни. Много хора отиват на разходка в планината през почивните дни. This is how you say that many people go hiking in the mountains during the weekend. Not only during the weekend, but during the summertime, I will tell you which is the most popular hiking road in Bulgaria. It's the Kom Emine Trail, which runs from the most western part of Bulgaria, most western part of Bulgaria goes straight to the most eastern part, which is Cape Emine. So from Peak Com to Cape Emine. It's about 700 kilometers and it will take you 20 days to walk through it. But it is part of a larger uh, road that goes from the Atlantic Ocean, crosses all Europe and ends at the Black Sea. It's a wonderful experience. And it's also the Bulgarian part of it is known as the Friendship Road. Why? Come to Bulgaria and find out why. Работя по часова работа. Работя по часова работа. To work a part-time job. You can also работя по часова работа. To work a part-time job. Of course, you need some kind of um, money-making activity to support your other activities. It's better if it's a part-time job, not a full-time job, because otherwise you would not have any time for the other activities. Uh, leave aside money. So here's a, how you can use this Pochasova работа, part-time job, in a sentence. Mnogo studenti работят Pochasova работа. Mnogo studenti работят Pochasova работа. 
Many students work a part-time job. Even though I am not a student, recording videos for you guys for BulgarianPop101.com is my part-time job. And I'm having so much fun with it. So bear with me because I have some more interesting facts about Bulgaria, the summer, and of course, other phrases to learn about what to do in the summer in Bulgaria. Zabavljavam se s prijatelji. Zabavljavam se s prijatelji. To have fun with friends. For the next phrase, you don't need the mountain, you don't need the sea, you don't need a lot of money even, because all you need is not love. All you need is friends. I think this is more true than love, because love comes and goes, but friendship stays forever. I do believe that. And to illustrate this, here is a phrase for you. Zabavljavam se s prijatelji. To have fun with friends. How do you have fun with friends? In this sentence. Tja izleze na ven, da se zabavljava s prijatelji. Tja izleze na ven, da se zabavljava s prijatelji. Friends, prijatelji. She went out to have fun with friends. This phrase sounds like something my mom would say always when she has to reply where I am at the moment because I'm always out with my friends. I'm a very sociable person and the best way to spend some friend time is to have a bench party in the park or to climb one of my hometown's hills. We have six out of seven now. Uh, long story, I'm not gonna... Uh, I'm not gonna explain what happened to the seventh one, uh, but just go up and hang around with your friends watching a wonderful view over the city. That's the best way to hang around with friends. Zabavljavam se s prijatelji. Want to speed up your language learning? Take your very first lesson with us. You'll start speaking in minutes and master real conversations. Sign up for your free lifetime account. Just click the link in the description.